my Libras, this is the month of April. April is a fire month. You guys are mm, um, here, are people. So be aware of this. Let's see what is coming up for you, Libras. Okay. So, in the first week, um, the energy of the lovers. The energy of the lovers is here for you, Libran. Some sort of a situation with family, lovers, contract, family. This is family, your husband, your partner, your family, kids, mother, father. Okay, this is about um, contracts also, if you were worried about your contract. So the energy of the lover is a water energy. It's in the first week. In the second week, you have the energy of the world. A cycle is now over to a marriage or a relationship. Energy of the world. Um, a cycle could be over to some sort of a family situation that a lot of you were having. Third week, light has been shed on some sort of a situation that was happening that people were not aware of. Light has been shed on your marriage, your relationship, your partner, your husband, your wife. And a lot of you, the last week, you're trying to find strength to deal with some sort of a problem and situation. So, light has been shed. And go back and look at the general reading because this is coming up um, in the general reading that uh, the hermit is in the third week shedding light on some sort of a situation that was transpiring. So... What we're seeing and what we're recognizing is that um, marriage issues in your marriage is coming up. Issues in relationship, issues in your marriage, issues with your parents um, could be coming up also. So these are issues, problems that is going to be transparent, but it's mostly as with marriage, marriage and your family. Now, what we're recognizing is that we have water in the first week and the second week. Contract with a corporation is coming up for some of you in the first week for you Librans. Second week, a cycle is going to be over. That has to do with your boss or uh, authoritarian figure. Um, in the third week, the Hermit energy light has been shed. So that is what is in the major arcana. And in the last week, you're trying to find strength with the energy of the devil in the last week. Okay. So let's see. Problems. Okay, so we see the creator of the tombs. The creator of the tombs is a woman. Um, whoever this person is, is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman. Some of you could have been friends or have some sort of a contract, or it could be your wife. The creator of the tombs is about a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person that some of you are married to. And the five of tombs, hardship, hardship with this person, a whole lot of hardship. Um, a lot of you, this person could have bring you in a whole lot of a hardship, a whole lot of problems. And this is an um it, for a lot of you is your wife. Okay, a lot of you, this is a situation with your wife, and this person is a Taurus woman. A lot of you are having some sort of a problem with a Taurus woman that is your wife or your mother or your sister or your sister-in-law, your mother-in-law. In the second week, unhurt energy, the hurt and the six of uh, candles. The six of candles is in reverse, whatever that was going on. Some of you were hoping for some sort of a um, contract, but um, it is not going to be coming in. The six of candles is in the reverse. So, then we see the four of veils. The four of veils is emotional. You're having some sort of an emotional situation dealing with uh, a Taurus, okay? Or dealing with your boss, some sort of an emotional situation. Some of you were hoping for some sort of a contract, but it is not going to be coming out. Light has been shed. The five of conflicts. Light has been shed on a conflicts. A conflicts that was going on. People are now recognizing who created this conflicts and why was this conflict going on? A lot of you seems to be dealing with a Leo and you're not going to, um, yeah. The seven of candle is here. The seven of candle is the seven of wands. You need to stand your ground with some sort of a problem that is going on, some sort of a problem and some sort of a situation that is going on. You need to stand your ground. Then we recognize the eight of vase and the eight of vase is that... As some of you were blindfolded from a situation and light is going to be shedding with this energy of the eight of veils, okay? Then um, some sort of a situation um, where some of you were collaborating 
with um, a group of people and you weren't aware that people were using or accessing your data and I see a Capricorn is showing to be showing up some sort of an unconventional situation that was transpiring so a lot of you could have been um, a lot of you are going to be having issues with um, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn people um, and also um, the uh, Leo's all right um yeah and the leo stores were a capricorn person and the leos i'm just looking at my phone for a while okay so what we are um experiencing um what is happening and transpiring is that uh, the creator is uh, a taurus virgo a capricorn person and some of you um had some sort of an issue with this person it could be a soul family it could be a friend but it's as if this friend or this person is going to be ending some sort of a collaborated or has ended some sort of a collaborated or collaboration with some of you. And I see truth is going to be coming out. I see hardship, a whole lot of hardship for um, a lot of you. And it's because of a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person. Uh, some of you try to create some sort of a problem for this person is now stand up and they have released something and it is showing up that you guys have created some sort of an issue for them. So because of a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, a lot of you are not going to be receiving a contract. All right. So be aware of this. So we have the energy of the creators of the tombs. And what is transpiring is that a lot of you were waiting on some sort of uh, um, news. Um, but the news that is coming in is not good. Some of you were waiting on some sort of a news. The conflicts is over, but this, there's no communication between you and this person. A lot of you had hoped that a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person would have communicated with you. But there's no communication between you and this person. And they have just abruptly stopped a situation abruptly without um, you recognizing that this person have just walked away and left the situation. I don't know what is transpiring. Some sort of information, something that you're not aware of, something that you have said. I've let this Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman just end a situation. No more communication. Conflicts is over. This person have no conflicts. They have end some sort of a communication um, that was happening. So we have the six of um, um, candles and the five of candles. And this is about ones. There was some sort of a conflict between you and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. They just left you dry. And out there, this person is like, I'm taking the higher road. Figure it out for yourself. I do not want to um, be connected in this uh, uh, creative chaos that you have created. A lot of you, um, six, five. This is the five of two. Um, number five, 55. I see this coming up for a lot of people. Number 55 is about changes. 55. A lot of you are dealing with the energy 55 okay 55 3 4 5 55 the 5 5 of 5 took is changes so some sort of a change is coming up um for you liberals some sort of a changes is coming up for you liberals so again another fiery energy in the third week a lot of changes is coming up for you liberals I see a lot of you Librans wanted to collaborate and work with someone. It's not going to be happening. Um, I see that they have chosen a new direction um, for themselves. So, so let's look at what is happening. So we see that some of you Libran, um, there was some sort of a conflict between you and the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. This person has walked away and left this conflict um four of uh, vase um this person i just they have no emotions um they whatever you have done i've given them no emotions and because of this i see it is hard for you to deal with because it's as if you don't know what was happening what was transpiring you have no idea what was going on what was transpiring and it, it leaves you out of balance and i see hardship for you 
um because now you recognize that this friendship this relationship is over uh whoever the story is very capricorn person is had received some sort of information about you and this is the reason why they have turned their back and walk away so i don't know what you have said what you have done or what you have tried to create it against a Capricorn person, but they have now seen and gotten some sort of information, and that's why they end a situation and turn their back and walk away. So don't expect any communication from this person because this person recognizes that you are you're not both on the same frequency. They recognize this and they're taking the higher road and leaving the situation behind. I see a lot of you were trying to create some sort of a chaos in this person's life. This person recognize I don't need your chaos. I don't want to be in that sort of an environment or with that sort of a people. And I see they're cold. They're very cold because I think they're, they're like, oh, Jesus, you know, really? You have tried to pull a wool over my eyes, but I saw, okay? So a lot of you were hoping um, for some sort of a good news to come in. Um, but light has been shed on a situation and um, some of you were blindfolded but light is now shedding on a situation and um, this is why someone just walk away someone just walked away light has been shed um, someone just walked away light was shed on a situation and people just walked away and end a cycle they're like I'm ending this. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm sorry, but it's over. And they're taking their loss and they're walking away. And I see that a lot of you wanted to really um, connect it and collaborate with this person, but this person decided, no, I'm going in my own direction. I don't know. I don't think that you were being very honest and you're going to be recognizing that this person have left the building. This person is on their way out. So I see hardship. Emo your emotional situation is going to be over now. The energy of the seven of ones. A lot of you wanted to work and collaborate with someone. But they have moved on. And I see that a lot of you never expected that. A conflict is now over. A lot of you have created a whole lot of conflicts for a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person. This conflict is now over. And people are now recognizing what was transpiring. So let's um, break this week down. A Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, there's no more communication between you and this person. Um, this person have uh, recognized that you had a mask up and they walk away. Hardship is here. Emotionally, you're down and out. Emotionally, you want to reconnect with this person, but this person have hold you off. Okay. All right. So we have the energy of the lovers. And a lot of you could have been in love with an Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person, this person have walked away. And I see it is very hard for you. You're recognizing the, and, and you know, you're feeling an all of pain. Whoever this person is, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person have just walked away, left you dry and out. You had no idea. It happens very fast, very sudden. Okay. Um, as, as some of you, this is a family member or your partner that you have not heard a word from is as if your partner your husband a family member um just walked away without leaving a message leaving no word um where they are what is happening you have no idea where this person is and what is happening and transpiring so i see that a lot of you are going to be having maybe a, a parent's um, a husband or wife or a child that just walk away you have no idea where they are the world is coming to an end um a cycle is now um ending um whoever the story is virgo or capricorn person is is ending some sort of a conflict okay there was a whole lot of conflicts around this person they are ending the conflicts they recognize that people had collaborated you liberals had collaborated and worked against them. They're in, in, um, ending this conflicts and this undesirable situation that was transpiring and moving on with their lives. Okay. They are ending it, moving on with their lives. Um, and uh, it, for them, it is, you know, figure it out, 
figure it out and no longer want to be in your uh, energy okay so communication a lot of you were hoping for some sort of a communication from a scorpio this is not going to be coming in a cycle is now now over and a scorpion could have found out what um you uh librans have done okay and a cycle is over this person just walked away without saying a word um this person have now recognized so what a lot of you librans have done um you were dealing with a scorpion no more communication with a scorpion um this scorpion has decided not to communicate with them with you librans maybe it was your mom that you have created some sort of a problem um for and the scorpion decided to walk away from you okay so i see a lot of you um your mother-in-law you could have done something to your mother-in-law and your husband or wife just get up and walk away truths are coming in and uh, information is coming out truths are coming in information is coming out that is going to be placing you between the rock and a hard place so whatever is happening libra some sort of a light has been shed on some sort of a document that is placing you libra in a hard place between a hard place and a rock they recognize that you libra had some sort of a data that wasn't yours and now people are recognizing that the data is not for you, Libran. How did you, Libran, get this data and information? They're now investigating how you got data and information. Um, some sort of a data and information that you have is not yours, Libran, and they're now recognizing it. Okay. And the la and what is transpiring light is being shed on a conflict that was created by you liberals and people are recognizing that some of you liberals have created a conflict and i think they're now recognizing that you liberals um and light has been shed on a leo some of you liberals was having some sort of a problem with a leo and i see that whoever this person is light is now shed um that you liberals could have co um um co co work with a leo and they're going to be recognizing that you liberals have co-work with a leo and now they're recognizing what has happened and transpired a lot of hardship is here finding inner strength dealing with the situation the eight of veils the eight of veils the situation with the eight of veils truths are coming out how you liberal has collaborated and worked together and I see that they're going to be ending some sort of a communication, some sort of a data, some sort of a document, documentation came out. And they're going to be recognizing that you liberal and work and cahoots and collaborated with a, someone or a group of people. So it's like everything is in reverse when it comes to data documentation. Um, the conflicts is now going to be over. And I see a lot of people, the conflicts is ended. And the conflicts is definitely ended and a lot of people are going to be walking away and whatever that you and you liberals and other people have they're going to be taking the higher roads and they're going to be recognizing it is time to walk away walk away from a situation with a liberal that no longer serve them you liberal could be recognized and it's time to walk away from some sort of a conflicts it's not helping anymore you can't win the situation so i see a lot of you liberals are going to be standing your ground and just leaving a situation behind because you can't win this conflict because there's too much data and information that is showing up something that you liberals recognize you can't win um a conflict so i see the energy with a lover a lover has walked away or a partner or a a family member has walked away and with no uh, message, no more communication. A lot of you, um, you know, whether or not you feel bad or whatever is happening, you regret this. It's, it's a sort of a regret. Then we see the four of vows, which is in the reverse. And it's like some of you wants to reconnect or reconnect with someone. But no, it's not happening. A lot of people are going to be recognizing and a lot of you are trying to find strength to deal with a uh, um, a Leo person. I see a Leo person, a whole lot of problems for this Leo person, a whole lot of, of situation where some of you liberals have created for a Leo person or vice versa. I see all of this is coming out. 
it is not a good month to make any decision no decision okay it is heavy the two first months um is good because the two first months is governed under the energy of the um this the aries season but the two last uh, weeks is taurus season and that is where heavy energies is going to be coming out very very heavy energies strength some sort of a details and information came out liberal and people are recognizing that some sort of a details and information that you liberal have it's not for you People are now recognizing and seeing that. So I see a lot of you liberals. Light is going to be shedding on some sort of details, details, information. And they're going to be recognizing that you liberal have details and information that is not yours. And I see you're trying to find inner strength to deal with the situation. Okay. So liberals, be aware of this. A resolution is going to be coming into some sort of a conflict that was going on. People are now recognizing because light is now shedding and people are now recognizing what was happening and transpires. Some sort of a resolution is going to be coming up. I see that they recognize that you liberals create a maze for someone not to find out something and create a whole lot of chaotic situation and had um yeah cre created a whole lot of chaotic situation and they're now recognizing what you liberals have done and they're going to be trying to resolve the chaos that a lot of you got yourself in or that was created around you and they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you liberal try to create a, some sort of a chaos for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and they're going to be recognizing what you have done so now um um a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is going to be showing up uh, the chaos that you liberals have created they're going to be um showing this up so details and information and that is what is going to be leaving you liberals in a place between a rock and a soft place because it is not everything is just the information whatever is happening is going out and it's as if a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person now is now recognizing and looking and seeing the truth of what was happening and transpiring and they're going to be recognizing that you liberals have data information either from the past so however you came up with this information and this data that is not yours so i don't know for some of you liberals how did you get some sort of a data or information because they're going to be recognizing that it's not yours liberals and this is going to be showing up hardship emotional hardship um, like communication is just stop abruptly and a lot of you is not um, you know um, a lot of you feel as if uh, you know there could have been um, that people worked uh, on the situation and they are going to be recognizing what I travel um, so a Capricorn woman I see some of you could have been in love with a Capricorn woman or um, was in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman this woman has basically in some sort of a communication. I see hardship for a lot of you liberals because you liberals didn't expect that, you know, this person would have ended the communication. But something came out that this person think um, this is not the direction or the person I want to move in that direction with. And I see this lady, you know, some of you think that this lady is cold or um, this person is cold, but this person is like, I don't need this chaos around me. I want to live a chaos free life. I want to be with people who are um, upright and um, look in me in the center. With the information that came out, I see a resolution is going to be coming in to some sort of an issue because they recognize that some of you Libran had documentation or information um that was not yours and they're now balancing out the situation and um a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn is a capricorn person that show um that um you liberals was creating a whole lot of chaos and it's as if this capricorn person show up you liberals and the chaos that you created all right so number 55 changes is going to be coming up so i see hostility I see a lot of you are being hostile towards people and situation. A lot of hostility is coming up from you liberals or it could be coming at you liberals. So some of you could be hostile or some of you 
um the hostility could be coming up of you but what is happening and transpiring is that uh, um you know whoever oh there's two messages so there is two messages so the second chakra of archangel ariel is coming up so some of you are being hostile some of you are receiving this hostility and um i see archangel ariel is coming in in order to help some of you because it's as if some of you were caught and some of you you need to ask archangel Ariel to help you because they recognize because a lot of you is in a lot of hardship and you're very hostile or hostility um is what you're using in the two first week but that is not going to be helping so i see the angel the angel of uh, um the second chakra archangel ariel is going to be coming in in order to help some of you Libran. so then we see clean house clean house and this is when clean house come up it's all about look at yourself it's, it's, about, it's about going in the first out or house go and see what came up in that reading for the first house because a lot of you need to go within yourself in order to recognize so what have you been doing wrong that has not been working out for you and between you and other people what have you been doing wrong okay um and cleaning house is about the self so it's about your higher self okay this is number 10 so some sort of a new start because some of you are going to be facing yourself and recognizing what you have been doing how you have been communicating how you have been um connecting and gathering with other people why it has to work and it's, it's about looking at yourself and making changes about your friend yourself in order to accumulate and accommodate friends so yes observing this is a month of observing whatever is happening and transpiring observed because what has transpired is that a capricorn has now showed up some sort of a maze that a lot of you Libran have created and did you create it um, out of hate and jealousy or did you create it to create chaos it's about chaos it's about you Libran created some sort of a chaos and now observe because a Capricorn is going to be releasing the chaos and the maze that you have created so this is powerful Librans Woo. Mm -mm -mm. This is really powerful. So this month is about hostility and um, with whatever the hostility is that is going to be coming at you, Librans, or what you're giving out, you got to recognize uh, that, you know, you need to look at yourself and recognize what have you done. You know, you have to be looking back, going to the first house. The first house is about the self. You Librans um, relationship why you are having so many problems with the relationship it has need not to do with the other people but it has to do with you because there is something that some of you had said and it came back to someone else's ears and this person decided you are chaos your chaos i don't want to deal with this chaos i'm walking away from this situation so um a lot of you are going to be observing and observing how a capricorn um pull and 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 remove a lot of people out of delusion a capricorn recognize so the puzzle that was creating and it's going to be removing and helping a lot of people out of delusion so we have said this um 26 that is uh, jealousy and harsh words because of jealousy and then 26 and 39 is as if your angels and guides is going to come in and said calm down you need to look at yourself and look at what you have created around this person world why this person have separate themselves from you then i see you're going to be looking at yourself and you're going to be cleaning up and you're going to be letting go characteristics that doesn't really help you to keep a good relationship because this is about relationship where people just walk away and end communication um because they recognize that you were not being um um really balancing out situation you were just uh, um you know taking yourself away from recognizing and trying to work and bring balance you just pull out yourself and just watch the two side of the scale going from one end to another observing 
observing who a Capricorn is, they take that higher road and they sit down and they look and puzzled out and break up whatever the puzzle is, the maze that was created. This person is an observant person. This person really observed some sort of a situation that was transpiring and then they just turn their backs and walk away. They're very observant, okay? Some of you Libran can be very observant, but chaos, um, this Capricorn, um, uh, whoever this Capricorn person is, um, they are looking at the chaos that a lot of you have created and is now going to be helping people to resolve this chaos. So we have eight, we have nine, we have 10, we have one, and we have 12 and three. It's about going within. This 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 um, month for you, Libran, is about going within, going within and recognize where is it your manko. Your manko is that where is it that you have been creating problems for other people and problems for yourself without no recognizing um, that you have to change some sort of a characteristic and do not... Um, let the two side of the, say, the the scale go from, but you stand up um, and don't wave from one side to the other. Stand up like this, like Capricorns, like Earth sign people. They stand up to whatever is coming at them. So um, another six, another six, and major situation is going to be coming up. Whoever is dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, major situation because they have stopped. They have uh, stopped the communication and you are baffled. And I see that you want to resolve this issue, but don't try it because they don't want to communicate with you. They're like, I don't need your chaos. And they're walking away. Um, um, number seven um, is that a Capricorn is, I've recognized um, the maze a Capricorn have recognized exactly what was played. A Capricorn have now recognized the fault, the fault plane that was created. And a Capricorn is now going to be trying to uh, resolve uh, some sort of a maze that was created. And um, this person is going to be trying to resolve some sort of an issue. So a major, major um, situation is transpiring. And a lot of you Librans have to really go back and look and see where you went. Um, you got to work with your highest self and work with the first house because this is a first house issues where um, you Libran have to look at characteristic and how you deal with friendship. So again, you have 55, which is your major it, 55 and 33, which is your major it, 55 and 33. These are majors. Um, uh, it's about... Uh, um, changes in relationship is going to be coming up. Then you have eight, you have nine, you have 10, you have one, you have 12, you have three. Wonderful. Um, now I got to go, Librans. Namaste until next time.